Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Chris coming to you with another one of my crazy crossroads, Big Joey C, Urban Ghost Urban Explorations is with me as usual. Um, I'd like to say thank you to, um, I forget the name, Jill, uh, her aunt and her mother. Um, they sent us out to uh, Crystal River, Florida to check out this crazy house that uh, they believed was abandoned. Um, we took an early night to go kind of scout it out and see if we can get in there. Didn't work out. Uh, the story behind it was crazy, so it would have been really cool to get into. Couldn't get into it, unfortunately. Um, so on our way back into um, into town, we decided to look some stuff up, and we found this old, uh, it's called the Yuli Sugar Mill, and uh, it was built in the 1850s. Um, legend has it, it's haunted as all get out. I guess there's a, a wheel or something in there that someone died in and got caught. And uh, Anyway, we're here. It's my birthday. Happy birthday, thank, Chris. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so I'm grateful to be here. I'm happy. It's awesome. Uh, it's a great day. Um, we're going to get into this uh, little sugar mill here. There's also a little um, park, wooded park area here. Um, just in, in as we were driving, we were reading some stuff. There's some stories of some things being haunted here. So we'll see. There's a little bar next door with a bunch of drunks. So that's, that might make it interesting as well. We'll see you guys in there. Peace. So we're gonna get started. We're gonna go across the street here into the um, it's the uh, sugar mill. But um, it was Julie, Becky, and Vicky. I apologize in the intro. I didn't have your names <laughs> remembered. But thank you again for the tip, um, guys. Anybody has any tips about any areas? Let us know. And um, if it works out, fantastic. If it doesn't, it's okay. I mean, it's that's the way the the cookie crumbles sometimes. Listen, we go to a lot of places, um, and a small percentage of them work out. Some of them we get to shoot in, um, and sometimes we don't even upload all the videos. We've been uploading a little more than normal, but when I first started, you know, we just we just try to bring you good footage. But um, this is just kind of interesting because of, I guess, the history of it. And we'll look into a little more of it, but it's called the Old Yuli Sugar Mill in Homosassa, Florida. Um, there's not much to it. Um, we might hear a little bit of noise over here from the crazy people at the bar, but uh, nonetheless, let's cheeky check it before we wreck it. So it's kind of like a little park area, pretty neat. And the people see the lights and stuff, so they're going to come over and probably give us some kind of drunken stories and stuff <clears throat> but this thing is really cool And 
When I listen back, sometimes when we say what we think it is, um, we think we hear things really clearly, but I'm, I'm going to leave it open. I don't want to put subtitles suggesting things, so I always, the last couple times we've used it, um, I've asked for you guys to leave in the comments what you think it might say. Um, just so it's, it's anytime you read something and then you hear something, I don't want to be too suggestive. What the There's fuck? A fucking gunshot, hold it. So there's something back there, but there's a gunshot there. Do you want to walk to the woods over there? Let's see? Sound like a fucking monkey so again. I'm pretty sure this camera picked that up. There was definitely a gunshot. Sounded like a single shot. From the park, so we're going to venture over there and see what we capture. And it's interesting too because we heard stuff behind us. I don't know with the, the, the app going if they. Um, the last one sounded like a up, monkey. We'll <laughs> no. That clearly sounded like a gunshot, which, you know, we are kind of in an area where I think it's okay to shoot in your backyard and all that good stuff. So, I mean, it very easily could have been a gunshot off into the distance. But, uh, a little sketch. The, 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 the behind you thing really freaked me out. That really gave me the chills, man. Okay, so, like I was saying earlier, let me know, guys, what you think down in the comments and what you think you might have heard. Or if you like you me know, doing the do subtitles, first, uh, let me know, here, too. We can go back to that little, like, gazebo thing and have one more time. Yeah. This guy, what's this guy doing? He's on the phone with the police. Yeah, probably. Well, they're not, not doing anything, anything wrong. Also, see, there's two guys with cameras and lights. And I heard a gunshot. What's that? Well, you want to go to another cool spot? I'm on our way home. Where's that? The uh, Brooksville train station, historic train station. You could walk around there at night, and there's wood back there. Now, last time we were there, yeah, there's a uh, there was a woman that was uh, missing, and we found her stuff. Okay. Police. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. So. All right, we'll do that. a lot of uh, animal sounds, which would make sense. All right, let's do that, Joe. All right, so come on, focus. Okay, so why is this autofocus not working, guys? Weird. So we're going to uh, possibly head somewhere else, um, <clears throat> just in case uh, if we don't get to do the other location, 
I want to go ahead and sign off properly. Thank you guys for everything you've been doing as far as supporting my channel. Um, the cameos, the merchandise, all that good stuff. So grateful. I know I say it every video, but I truly am grateful. I'm grateful. My family's grateful. Um, thank you for everything you guys have been doing. See everything down below in the description. And uh, till next time, deuces. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> oh, oh howdy do da day. Hello there, and welcome back to another episode of Seas Crazy at Crossroads. <laughs> My name is Cornelius Crossroad. This is Joe, <laughs> Big Joe, Urban Ghost, Urban Explorations. We're at, um... This is the Brooksville... Brooksville... Train Depot. Train Depot. Yes. Oogity boogity. It's scary. Um... So Joe was here before, and uh, they actually found like, uh, I don't know, purse, clothes, all this crazy stuff from some chick that was missing, and uh, I guess he had something to do with solving a missing person uh, report. He's my hero. Well, what happened was the woman was what attacked back happened? there. She was in the hospital, and we found her stuff in the woods. This guy here. Humanitarian. Total humanitarian, and this is for Chris's birthday, see? Yes, happy birthday. By the way, there's like a bunch of uh, suspicious looking characters riding their bikes around here. So. <laughs> this is, yeah, it's not a cool place to be, especially at night. But we're here, and uh, we're going to go back here and probably make this one big video from it's my birthday. <laughs> it's my birthday, and I'm going to cry if I want to. <laughs> <Cry if I want. laughs> Oh, all right, so anyway, we're going to shoot this, and uh, hopefully we don't get shot while we're shooting it. So we'll see you guys in just a couple of seconds. Anooshes! All right, so Giuseppe had to lock his car. He wanted to make sure he locked his car. This is not the greatest of areas, and any of you that are in this area, you, you know that. So. <clears throat> we're going to kind of try and... Try and squeeze this uh, this video into probably the other video. Unless this goes too long, then I might do two separate videos. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see. I'm tired, so it might be a real short video. I need to get some sleep. It's been a couple of crazy days. I got a massage this morning, and I'm still tired from that. Whoa! Big drop. So a couple of cool buildings here in this depot. It's like a schoolhouse? Schoolhouse, yeah. Look at this. Yeah, there we go. Countryman, countryman family one room schoolhouse. Heritage Day Festival, Saturday, February 15th. Cool. So I'm told that you can actually, uh, I think there's a small fee and you can come here during the daytime and check this place out. There's a, f Joe. There's a figure right through this window. I swear, look. It looks like a, <laughs> looks like a, a small boy with a hat on. Oh, scary. <sighs> All right. All right. So we, okay. we saw our first uh, figure here. Now, back here. Very cute place. Behind here, I'll try to put the camera above here. There's some. Wow, really this neat. This real ominous house. You know what's funny, Chris? See this house right over here? I do. So it looks abandoned, right? No, I didn't. But Someone it's, lives uh, in it's it. It's not, because when yeah. the police came here last time we were here, yeah. we we're like, oh, can we go over there and check? They're like, well, I probably wouldn't because there's people that live in there. <laughs> look at that place. Yeah. It's creepy as hell. I'm going to try to look over this wall. There's Joe shining his lights there. Yep. Hernando Historic Museum, 1885. <clears throat> fire engine over there. So I can't. Joe's uh, filming over the fence. I'm not tall enough to do that. Pretty neat. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
You want to come check this out. Lived here for many, 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 many years and never even knew of this place. Pretty cool. So they have a thing, I guess you can pay and stay here overnight. <clears throat> now there's a story that goes with this, Chris, that there was a prostitute who was killed back here. I really forget the story, but I remember Patty talking about it when we were here. And see the spirit box behind this place Maybe, maybe we'll just see something again. Over There's here. a so Joe said there was a prostitute that was killed back here, or some, something to that effect. Now, prostitute Joe, can you break that word down for me? Right, pros. So there's the pros. You get the pros, right? Come on. The tit. Right. And the toot. And the toot. Okay. All in one, you know. So you have it all. The pros, the tit, and the toot. <laughs> Seen some really neat stuff tonight anyway. Nice little explore. So I'm not really sure if it's even true that people can stay here if you pay so much money, but um, I don't really know why you would want to stay here. Gift station number 6005. Oh, I gotcha. Okay, so there's this, this trail must go all the way around, and if you come across any trouble, that's just kind of like a, um, a reference mark. The Good Neighbor Trailhead. Yeah, both, wow, oh. Sorry, Joe. Right here, 
No alcohol allowed, Joseph. What's that? No alcohol allowed. Oh, yep, sorry, buddy. Sorry. Was this up when you were here last time? Uh, no. What does that mean? Does that mean closed? Hmm. I'm not really sure why they have this here. Now they did tell us we can come back here last time. There's no problem. <clears throat> oh, we must be doing some kind of construction. There's a body of water there, so I guess they're trying to barricade this off. Look at that. A little crick. A little crick. I got a crick in my neck. Shut yeah, where we're entering, off. guys, is not... Shutting the big light off. Definitely not a good uh, um, opportunity <laughs> to come back here for just a normal stroll. Are you ready to do this, brother? Yeah, you want to shut that big light off? So we got plenty of light. I think so. Yeah. I think we're good. Set the mood. Are you trying to set the mood with me? I am. It is my birthday. It is birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so as we walk through this place, I'm going to shut the big light off because it is Chris's birthday. He wants the big light off. He wants it to be a little more. Yeah, easy. we got plenty of light with these park lights. Not when we walk back there, we may not. Well, then we can always turn the light back on. It's like we're walking into the abyss. So they say that a lot of people have been mugged back here. All kinds of things happen back here, so it's not really safe. <clears throat> Wish a motherfucker would. <laughs> <laughs> I dare them. I heard somebody. <clears throat> oh really? Yeah. So Joe said right around this area is where they found the ladies stuff. I don't know if it's just that those frog sounds or anything, but Swamp land.
that I heard. So this is like. <clears throat> God, dog it, that scared me. Yeah. It's county stuff, I think. I wonder if the necrophonic app would actually pick up That woman ever made it. What do you hear? I keep hearing it's something. Like a whisper or something, but but I don't know if it's just ambient noise, you know? Yeah. What? Was that you? What? What'd you hear? I didn't say anything. So I hear something over this way. I think that's a truck route. You know what? That takes us to the road that leads back to our car, right? You want to go that way? Yeah. Don't. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. Yep. What was that, Jeff? Was that you? I thought I heard like somebody talking, but I also thought I heard something move around the woods. You know what we should probably do? I'm gonna put the necrophonic cap on as we walk. Okay. Do you want it? See. Sure. See what we get. So I'm curious, guys. We're gonna put the app on again, and I'm gonna do this while I'm walking. Can you find it? Yeah. Is there any? Anybody here? Said Tom. Lori, Jeff. Fuck that. What was that? Hold on. Let me shut this off. Shut this off. That was right over here. Fucking thing won't shut off. Please shut off. Dude, this won't shut off. Could be an animal, but... We're going back to the app, guys. We heard something behind us, and I don't know what that was. Are we in danger back here? Joe, it's him. What happened to that lady that was attacked here? The lady and her baby, what happened? What was that? You hear that? What? Chris? You hear? I got chills again. Look at this. You heard your name. Chris thought he heard his name. I didn't hear anything on that, but I was listening to the app. I thought I heard it on the app. Oh, on the app? I'm going to walk around and play the app. This, this is really... I thought Chris heard something. <sighs> so I thought Chris heard something outside the app. <laughs> so I'm gonna walk around with my light and the app and see the capture. Just to, uh, to get that mm -hmm. Who's here? Who's saying Bobby? Weird. And it said Joe with a flashlight. Okay, this is a weird feeling. My zoom. There we go. Sorry, guys. I heard you say I'm holding my flashlight. Oh, God. What was that? Oh, this is kind of cool. I just heard something. 
Who threw something at us? Did somebody throw something at us? No, it, it could have been an animal too. I feel really, really vulnerable right now. I know. I really don't feel right. I feel like there's people watching us. Yeah. I don't know. Should we not be on these tracks? Should we not be on these tracks? No. What happened to the woman that was here? The one who was attacked. Poor. Is there anybody here? Are we in a bad situation? He's leaving. Leaving? That's what I just heard. Are we in danger here? I don't like this. <laughs> Where do we come in on this? Tom? Who's Tom? You're not my dad. Who are you? Oh, I got such chills. Such chills. What was that? Who are you? Bobby? Who the hell's Bobby? Bob. This is so freaky. Alright, so... Please, I come, I, we come in peace. Please tell us who you are. Do you follow us, Bobby? Wow. Bye, Tom. Where, where did we just come from? Bye, Tom. Asshole. You're an asshole. Fuck you too. Fuck you too. Joe. Hey. What? Holy shit. Is it an ant? Or is oh, there an you ant? You got scratches all over your back. Dude. Are you freaking out? No, it's a, like, it feels like a, a fucking ant. No, you here, can't. here, let me see. Hold on. Ah. Chris, you're scratched all over your back. Joe, it's like, feels like an ant. Here, let Hold me on, see. I got, I'll, I'll, I'll see them. Are you it feels like an uh, ants. No, there's not. You have you have elongated scratches. Lift your, dude. You have, hold on. Lift this up. It looks like it's burning. Chris, you are you really are burned on can your you back. Take a, can you take a picture? Uh, hold on. Uh, with oh. your phone or something, dude. Yeah, it feels phone. like I got ants, yeah, like um, yeah, fire ants. Picture. Hold on. Well, hold your shirt up there. Can you? Are you able to? Yeah. Holy you sure? It's not, you sure I don't have fire ants? No, bro. You got you, something scratched your back. It looks like something like something demonic scratched your back. Hold on, let me take a picture and I'll show you. Give me a second. Lift it up again. Right now, I feel like I have fire ants running up my back. You don't. You have actually scratches. Ah. Oh. There's one, Where? two, right three here? scratches. Yes. Oh God. Holy God. Dude, I can't believe oh. this. This is unbelievable. <laughs> really? Yeah. Did you want me to take a yeah, picture? Yeah. All right. It's burning. Sorry, you're going to have to hold this up because I got this. Ah, it burns like crazy, man. It feels like there's ants biting me. There's no ants biting you. Uh, All right, ready? I'm going to snap that picture right now. I can't even believe this, bro. Are you serious? Yeah. I feel hold like on. I got ants Chris. biting me. Oh my goodness, what the fuck is that? So, by the way, sorry guys what for my... What is that? Sorry for my what back surgery. What is that surgery. in the picture? Is that you holding something? Yeah, that's my cat. That's my light. Oh, is it your light? Okay. It's... Okay, so if you can see that scar, that's from a, several back surgeries. So sorry for the nasty looking back, guys. Oh my God, Joe. It feels like I got fire ants. You got scratched. You know what? You got... Chris, you got scratched when, I, when the thing was going, you asshole. F you. It just feels like, it feels like all of a sudden I got fire ants. You sure those aren't 
there's no ants. There's no ants on his back. So this is unbelievable. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for you guys having to see my nasty uh, surgical scars, but it really burns like crazy. It still burns. What the hell, man? You know, it's weird. You were saying how vulnerable you felt. Then on top of that, you were saying that um, you didn't feel right here. You heard it again, and then all of a sudden... Burns. Can we make our way back, Joe? Because I'm not... It's burning, man. Out of here? I don't know. I don't know. Is it? I don't know how bad it is. Your back is. It's. It's. Three, it's three scratches on your back. It's, uh, where did we come? Where did we come in? Hold on. All right. We're gonna get out of here, brother. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm alright. I just honestly, it just feels like there's there's like fire ants eating my back right now. I've never. Uh, I mean, I've gotten a bite from a fire ant. Is this the way? Um, <clears throat> you know, maybe we're better off just walking down the track. Okay, all right. But uh, I've never... Go the woods again. I don't want to go past that section again. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, my weird. God. It still burns, man. <sighs> yeah. Joe, I'm sorry, man. That that really burns like crazy. Gosh, dog. You guys can wait. And uh, we can always come back if you want, but you know, listen, as soon as one of us I'm not even sure if that picked this up. So our cameras were at 30 minutes, so they they cut off. And I'm not sure if we heard that. So it did not sound, sound like, like a friggin' bear, like a freaking real demonic oh. bear. Alright, um, Hey man, you want me to get you out this way through the woods? I don't know. Which way should we go, man? I just feel like every time we're in this spot, do you hear that over here? Yeah, I'm hearing it. Dude, seriously, um, I don't know. Should we just get past beyond this and go, or can we get back this way? Let's just uh, let's. Yeah, let's just get you out of here. Oh my goodness. I know. I can't get over the fact that you were freaking out here and that happened and the, the shit coming through the... I just, I, I'm not freak. What was, what's... Dude, this guy, was there something behind us? Maybe we should get off this track, dude. I keep hearing like a, a growl. The first growl was loud, but the second growl, but I guess there was a little faint, but... Ah, still I'm feels like... Animal. Still like, feels out. like, uh... <sighs> shit, it's burning. <laughs> First, I can't believe it. You know, it just feels like there's fire ants eating my, <laughs> eating up on my back, man. <sighs> Joe, I don't know if we can do this. All right, let's, uh, let's get out of here. I don't know if we can get out this way. Really? Okay, th we should be okay here because I. Yeah, this is Maine. All right, so when we get on this street, we're probably going to have to turn our lights off. <clears throat> it's actually feeling better now. So I really don't know what... What the heck is... Uh, going on it's really weird because it sounded like joe was in sort some sort of uh fight <laughs> with the necrophonic guy and um yeah i heard that too man i just heard like your name i thought Look at all this white. What is all this white stuff now? Okay. Was this hair before? Yeah, I was almost kneeling in it. Whatever it is. Okay. All right, we gotta. We're gonna have to turn our lights off, Joe. This uh. It's not burning like it was before, though. So some people say that if you get three scratches on you, and it, uh -huh. it's happened to me before, uh -huh. that means it's like a, you're being scratched by like a demon. 
How is that even possible? And then some people say that it's the three scratches represent the Trinity, the Father. I, I, I'm okay. I just go okay. this way through this path back. Let's do that. We'll take this right to the car. So, what's really interesting is to see what was on there beforehand. <clears throat> it was like warning us. And can I see your back one more time, brother? Yeah. Just want to see if you're all right. Yeah. And this is okay. It faded out a lot. It I faded. tell you, it feels so much better. Hold it back. It's still too Can you? Scratch can you do? It almost looks like a triangle with another uh, scratch next to it. I can't. Obviously, right. fold my back. But... Wow. Lift up a little higher. Yeah, so it's still there, but it faded out a lot. Crazy. So again, sorry you guys have to see my nasty surgical scars, but okay. So here's this is really freaky, Joe. My camera shut off again and said the card was full. I just went back to look through my card. There were two files that were just white noise, like just. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, brother. I erased my card, and this card can film for hours. Yeah, you got at least um, four hours of filming on there before. And I erase it and download to the computer. <sighs> so. To, um. I'm sorry, I'm just like really. That was really you know, I weird. Think we should do, if you're okay with it, that's my problem. I, I felt like. I just felt like there were a million fire ants just stinging me at once. Why don't we sit at the gazebo and turn on the next The weirdest app. part of that was you were cursing. <laughs> it was like you were having an argument with the Necrophonic app. Joe's cursing at the app. And Chris gets great. And I felt like I, I felt like I was just getting eaten up by, by fire ants. I say we see if we get any answers from the Necrophonic app before we leave. Yeah. I, that's fine with me, man. What? Did somebody buy my car? No. I gotta, over there. I gotta be honest, pictures. that was weird, man. That was really strange. Yeah, well, what's even weirder is you're thinking you're bit by ants, but those were scratches. You said that happened to you before? Happened to me before. Remember at the, um, one time was at the, uh... Oh, at that mini mansion. Yeah. That's right, and you said, but that was just like one... That happened to me at the Frank Lloyd Wright house as well. That was like one burnt, it looked like somebody burnt something on your back. Yeah. That's right, you said it was burning, but did it feel like a bunch of fire ants? It felt like somebody put like an iron on my back for like a second. Like a hot iron. Oh, God, that was weird. That feels so much better though. And you said it's gone? It's almost gone, which is crazy in itself. I mean, it was fiercely red, and was it, did, no ant's going to leave a straight line like that. That's crazy. Three of them. Actually, the middle part looked like a triangle. What does that mean? I don't know. What was that noise? Dude, are you serious? What the fuck is going on here? Come on, man. Because I, I don't know how much no, how much I'm going to have left on my card either. No, I think we need to get the hell out of here. You know? I mean, the car is right there, bro. We'll be all right. Yeah. But what we can do is we can uh, quickly see if we get an answer from the spirit box. Do you want to or no? I mean, uh, that's fine with me. I'm, I'm good with it. So, Let's see if it says <clears throat> acknowledges what happened to you. If, if you guys, um, when Joe took my camera or even on Joe's camera, um, showing my back, you might have seen that I, uh, I have my weapon with me. Um, when we're outside, especially, mainly for, you know, our protection of wild animals and all that good stuff, um, I like to carry my gun with me. So I hope that doesn't offend anybody. I am a licensed carrier. Um, so... Yeah, and we're not inside an abandoned building. Yeah. Okay, um, I got. I don't know how much time I have. 
All right, so it's really strange. So before, I went and deleted two files that had just, I say white noise, but it's just like static. It looks like if your TV's, you know, the cable's unplugged and all you get is that static. Um, and now there were two more files, again, in my card, my camera shut off, my card said it was full again. I don't, I, I've never seen it, never happened before, I don't get it. So let's do this real quick, just so I still have some life left in this camera. You know what, why don't we face them both this way, and we can do it just like this. It really freaked me out, man. All right, guys, so we're gonna try, there you go, that's perfect. Here we go. We're gonna try doing this app and see if we can pick up anything. Worried about Chris. I You're honestly, almost okay. yeah, I'm just worried the fact that that could have been something evil that scratched you and not an ant. So I am going to uh, try the app and just to see if it'll answer us. So um, can you please tell us what happened back there? And uh, before I do this. Just gonna say a quick prayer. I'm gonna bow my head in prayer. I'd like to join Heavenly Father. To you, Christ, I know all things are possible. Please be with us tonight. Please be with all who watch this video. Amen. All right. Let's see. Uh, see what we captured. Will you tell us what happened to Chris? To Chris. What happened to Chris? I didn't do it. Who scratched Chris? Was Chris scratched? Is that Avon? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Who scratched Chris? Were you mad that I cursed back at you? The devil. There's a lot of uh, action. We gotta get get out of here. All right. Who was that? You heard I don't know. Screen, right? But there's a lot of bad people in this area. Okay. What was it? I don't know. Right, so we're you guys tell me. What you think it might be? But I'm freaked out about what happened to Chris. I had no explanation All right, guys. This this one ran a lot longer than I expected. So this may. This may be two videos. Um, if we can do one, it'd be great. Um, but thank you guys for watching. That really was very, very, very strange, very odd. Um, ah, that burning sensation, I can't get it out of my head, but I'm, I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine now. So thank you guys for watching. See everything down in the description. Let me know what you think about this video. Um, also with uh, Necrophonic, all that good stuff. Let me know what you think you might have heard. Um, again, I mentioned earlier, I don't want to, I don't want to do subtitles. Oh, good Lord, you scared the hell out of me. <laughs> How you doing, man? All right? <laughs> what kind of video is this? Um, do you know how haunted it is on those railroad tracks? No. Bro, don't go down on the railroad tracks. It's haunted. Party's over since the girl. <laughs> We're getting the fuck out of here. Peace. <laughs> Happy birthday. What a night this was. Oh my god.